Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. In it it's not that easy, is it? Try again. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and thanks for joining me. And it <laughs> <laughs> see, <laughs> it's hard. All right, one more time. Give it, give it another shot. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and thanks for joining me. And it I can't say. Four. All right, let the professional do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. And for you new viewers, thanks for checking out my channel. I definitely appreciate it and I hope you like it. Now, for some reason, Maverick wanted to help out today. I think he wants like an Xbox gift card or something. Is Don't that talk right? Don't talk about the particulars. Don't talk about the particulars. Yeah, it's exactly Will. He wants something. Anyway, guys, today we have the Luminox Sport Timer 200 meter automatic. And this is model number 0924. And like I said, Maverick wanted to help out on this one, so you're going to see a whole bunch of little fingers pointing in there. Anyway, this is a brand new sport timer from Luminox, and this actual watch has been around for about 30 years. Uh, the 30th anniversary was last year, so it's not a brand new model, but this is just a brand new iteration of the sport timer. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and check this thing out. <music> All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this thing. But first, if you like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel, make sure you check out my Amazon store. I do get a small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, and that definitely goes to help the channel, and I do really appreciate it. So typical Pelican-style Luminox watch box. Now, Maverick, you were asking what a Pelican-style watch box is. Remember what I told you? Yeah, it's like they're super resistant to water, and they just like are really durable, and like they're for tackle or yeah, exactly. There's basically just a waterproof like tackle box. So if you're on a boat and you drop it over, you know, overboard, you know, nothing inside is going to get water damage. It's going to float. So that's basically what this is. It's like a Pelican style box. There's an actual, you know, an actual company called Pelican that makes tons of these different types of uh, of boxes. Anyway, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. There is a sport timer. And like I said earlier, this is the um, this is not the 30th anniversary. That was, again, last year. But this is just another colorway. You've got the nice ceramic blue bezel. I think it's a fantastic looking watch. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and tell you the seven specs that you need to know, and I'll put the rest of the specs in the description field for you. So you guys know what you get over here. Basically, you get your manual, your warranty card, all that good stuff right there. Tells you about the tritium tubes inside. There you go. So nothing new or interesting, honestly. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. And like I said, I'll go ahead and tell you the seven specs. I'll put all the rest of the specs down in the description field for you. And uh, I like this thing, Maverick. What do you think so far? I mean, it's like a yes and no kind of thing. A yes and no? Well, we're going to elaborate on that here in just a minute. Uh, you're looking at a 42 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 13 millimeters thick. It's 49.2 millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 24 millimeter stainless steel bracelet. It's water resistant to 200 meters, which is 660 feet. You've got a Salida SW220 movement with about a 38 hour power reserve. You've got a sapphire crystal with an AR coating. And check out the rest of the specs down in the description field for you. So uh, again, I, I like it. Uh, Maverick, I guess said it's a, it's a yes or a no, or a yes and a no, which one was it? Like a love-hate kind of. A love-hate. Okay, what do you love about it? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I like the blue and I like the military time. Okay, you like the you like that inner like uh, chapter ring with the military time. All right, got it. Yeah, but I mean, when we checked out the loom, it, I mean, it could be bright. Well, I mean, it's the tritium loom. It's not going to be as you know bright as a Seiko Monster, that's for sure. But it glows for twenty-five years without any exposure to light. It's just going to automatically glow forever. So it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I do like the date window, a nice bezel around the date window. Um, you do have one little bit of loom on the second hand. In fact, let me go and wind this thing up a little bit. We'll see it moving around here. You got one tiny piece of loom over on the second hand. That's it. And I'm assuming that's Super Luminova. Uh, speaking of winding and unwinding, that crown being a Swiss crown, it's a signed crown, by the way. Really nice screw in and unscrewing action, as you would expect from a Swiss watch. Um, the dial, I mean, very legible. The only thing I don't like about the dial, uh, I don't like that Luminox logo. It's super blingy. Look how shiny that thing is, man. You can't really tell what it says until you look right at it in a certain light. So I'm not crazy about the Luminox logo itself. They could have just screen printed that thing, and I think it would have actually been a little bit better. I do like the fact that the tritium tubes are set into the dial. I think it looks really neat. As you can see, they're not sitting on top of the dial. They're actually set in it. 
And then you've got that nice little tritium tube up there at 12 o'clock. Again, you've got that ceramic bezel. Let me wipe this thing off real quick. I think it's a good looking watch, man. Is it gonna, you know, win any design awards for originality? Not really, but that's not really, you know, really what this watch is about. It's meant to be a tool watch. Uh, you know, this is something that you can, you know, you can depend on. It's gonna last forever. It's 200 meters water resistant. It's built like an absolute tank. I mean, this thing weighs 185 grams, so you definitely know you have something on your wrist, but it's not too heavy. Uh, big, huge crown guards around that crown, so that crown is not gonna get knocked around. Uh, I think it's a great looking watch, man. And it's, you know, it's a very utilitarian watch for sure. And of course, it being Swiss made, I mean, the tolerances are very tight. It's just, a, I think it's a fantastic watch. I'm not a big fan of that logo, like I said. And, you know, the, the bracelet, I wish the bracelet was a little bit thinner. I wish it was like a 22 millimeter. The 24 is a little bit wide for me personally. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the watch. Maverick, let me get some more of your thoughts here. What do you think about this rotor? See how the rotor is black right there? Let me show you. See that black rotor? That's pretty cool. Actually, I, I like those how they, like, you can see through it. Yeah, you can like the skeletonized case back so you can see the movement inside. That's yeah. pretty cool, man. You know, you've got all your basic specs around the periphery of the, uh, the case bag. You know, automatic, sapphire, crystal, all that good stuff. So, what do you think, man? Uh, they could make, like, the skeleton, whatever you call it, like, a little, like, I don't know. Cooler, I guess. Cooler? Like, what would you want them to do to it? I don't know. Just, like, add, like, you know, like, on those, like, million-dollar watches, they have those, like, cool gems and everything. <laughs> well, this has got some of those. It doesn't actually have actual rubies, but it does have some gems. I don't know if, if coloring the rotor black like that really kind of helps the watch out or not. Because um, you can't really read what anything says because it's all blacked out. Like gold or silver. Yeah, gold would be kind of platinum. cool or platinum or well just we're talking about gold or platinum color. Gold or platinum would be ex would, would the, if you had a gold or platinum rotor on this watch that would cost more than the whole watch. It could be just like steel but like with a slight cover of it. There you go. There you go. So guys, I mean I think it's a good looking watch. Obviously it's very well built. I do like the scissor clasp by the way. I always like these machine scissor clasps. And uh, it's a good looking watch. I mean, it's been a staple in the uh, Luminox line for, again, you know, what, 31 years now. Uh, people like these watches. They're good looking. I do really, really like that color blue. And the dial itself is not black. It's a very, very deep navy blue. Uh, incredibly deep. Um, but again, I wish that Luminox logo wasn't quite so blingy. But it's, you know, incredibly legible. I mean, I think it's a good looking watch. I mean, again, not going to win any styling awards. I mean, there's nothing really special about the case. It's basically all brushed. Um, you know, it's still a good looking watch. So let me go ahead and try it on. Then we'll, I'll give you a shot of that loom. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and zap the UV light. All right. So let's go ahead and try this thing on. And it's definitely a little bit heavier than I normally like, but not too bad. What do you think, buddy? I mean, it doesn't look bad. I don't like... See, sometimes I don't like it because it'll clamp my hair whenever I try to put one You on. don't even have any hair on your arms. Don't even try it. <laughs> oh, by the way, question. What? Are all watches that thick? Like, uh, no, no, no. Not all watches are that thick. That's The that. thickness is partly due to the fact that uh, it's water resistant to 200 meters. The more waterproof a watch is, or water resistant, no watch is waterproof. But the more water resistant a watch is, the thicker the case has to be. So that's part of the reason for the thickness of the case. The other part of the reason is just because of the design, the movement and size. There's a couple of factors that go into a watch being, you know, thin or thick. So let me go ahead and kill the studio light. Again, there is no actual loom on the dial except for on that second hand. And But I'm going to go ahead and uh, shine the UV light and show you what the loom looks like. Obviously not going to be as bright as this. All right, let me go ahead and kill the monitor too here real quick. All right, you might see it eh, faintly glowing now. All right, so there we go. The Maverick just went ahead and turned out all the lights. Look at that. Okay, hold on. Let me see here. I'm a helpful child. So there you go. Now that's in total darkness. This room is totally dark. Thanks, buddy. You can see the little luminous pip on the second hand going around. And then there's the dial. Let me go ahead and shine a little bit of light on it so you can see what those colors actually are. There you go. So that's what they actually look like. If they were like, you know, Seiko Luma Bright Bright, that's what that's what color they would look like. Pretty cool. All right. And then again, there's total darkness. 
pretty cool. All right, let me go ahead and cut everything back on here, and we'll go ahead and finish this review up. I think Maverick went to go do something. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. I think he, I think he bailed on me. But <laughs> anyway, guys, I like it. I really do like that bezel color. I like the fact that it's ceramic bezel. I like the legibility. Uh, again, just that that logo, man. I think they would be better served just to screen print that logo. It looks like that logo is not like applied, but it's got like four or five layers of like a chrome based kind of like raised print or paint or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but it's a, it's, it's a good looking watch. It'll last you forever, obviously being Swiss made. Uh, it's a good looking watch, man. And I do like the fact that those uh, tritium tubes are actually inset in the dial, which I think is pretty neat. All right, buddy, what do you think? Final thoughts? Uh, six out of 10. Six out of 10. Maverick is rating this a six out of 10. I would give it an eight out of 10 only because I know what I'm talking about and he doesn't. <laughs> I'm the real pro here. I can take you're, over the You're the real pro. You can take over the channel, huh? All right. Guys, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description field for you so you can head on over to Luminox's website and pick one of these up. They're not cheap. This one's $1,290. I mean, it is a Swiss made watch. So, you know, it's an automatic with a Salita movement. So it's not a, you know, it's not going to be a cheap watch. Anyway, guys, as usual, always make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. And thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next review. Take care. Bye bye.